Okay, morning folks. Um, welcome to another sunny day. This is, this is quite nice. Um, what have we got soaring wise today? Well, I can tell you it's going to be a nice training day. Um, soaring, it's an interesting forecast. You can see the high pressure that's been over us and, and is beginning to get squeezed now by that cold front. And it's progress down over us is very very slow so even for another 24 hours it's sort of hardly moving and it looks like it's going to stall over us on sunday so that's a, a certainly a different forecast from 24 hours ago but what have we got today in terms of weather well like westerly winds as you can see on the ground it's only a couple of knots at the moment but at flying heights, I think in the southern part of the country, probably about 10 knots, um, 280, 290 at flying heights, probably. Not very strong. Sat pick doesn't really show you much at the moment. Uh, most of what you see down here is just fog burning off. Um, Certainly when I left home in Winchester, it was thick fog and that sort of slowly burning away. Um, you know, I think by 10 o'clock that will be completely gone. It'll be reasonably clear here. There's no upper cloud particularly um, at the moment. The infrared is clear. So temperatures are actually here building quite nicely. Um, normal two degrees an hour. And I think today we're looking around Lasham at probably 24 maybe 25 degrees as you can see a bit warmer in london and the southeast generally is the warmest area this this chunk round here and that's probably where the best conditions are going to be today dew points most places are, are, are currently around about 14 um, and once you start getting some thermal mixing that'll come down a little bit and it depends on how far they come down as to whether you're going to retain cumulus during the day so the soundings for here if we plug in 25 degrees you can see it's going to be a bit over four and a half thousand feet about four eight probably above sea level um, and with dew points if they came down to 12 you'd have cumulus if it comes down below that you're not going to have any cue it's going to go blue maybe haze caps um, but it's it's bordering on you know cumulus in places blue blue and others um, looking a bit further west um, northwest not quite so high this is sort of west of bista only about four thousand feet uh, with bits of cumulus and then into east anglia it looks quite good again you're plugging in 25 degrees there you're going to have four and a half to five thousand foot and i think more chance of cumulus by the looks of it um, in east anglia so top meteo suggesting um, it gets going probably about 11 o'clock and certainly by one o'clock local in the area around Lasham, 12, 1300 metres, and again into Cambridgeshire or around the southeast um, are the best areas with yeah, 12, 13, 1400 metres. And I think East Anglia will actually be quite good this afternoon. Whether you can actually get back might be a, a different matter. And it should go on um, to reasonably late, five o'clock, I would have thought this afternoon in this this area here so cloud wise which is probably what people want to know we're certainly going to start with cumulus developing in the morning that's suggesting by 11 o'clock and as the temperature goes up and the dew points start to drop a little bit more the cloud amounts reduce and i think it's just going to be some scattered cumulus very very isolated cumulus possibly around us and blue in other places but still remaining good in east anglia for most of the day 
into late afternoon. Suggested distance. Well, that looks like a, a good route for going round the TMA actually. <laughs> but you know, again, uh, over us and to the east of us looks quite good. And out into East Anglia looks looks very good. Don't go too far west is the message from that one. Um, so folks, um, probably starting, you know, I think if you're thinking about starting about 11 to 11.30 at the very earliest, uh, you've got maybe from 12 till five, so five hours of reasonable soaring. Okay, airspace wise, not really a lot. I mean, things haven't changed in the last couple of weeks. Um, the Salisbury Plain danger area is activated for today till 1900 hours tonight, seven o'clock tonight. And also the D120, which is a sort of extension of uh, Boscombe's 80Z really, uh, is activated until 6.30 tonight. So those two link together really. So aircraft can fly out of Boscombe uh, into the danger areas. The parachuting uh, east of Bista, again, is no um all day till eight o'clock tonight. And it's from the surface up to 10,000 feet with a three nautical mile radius. Parachuting over um, Bryce, well, that's directly over the top of the airfield. I mean, it's unlikely you and anybody's going to be flying over the top of uh, Bryce's airspace today. Just thought I'd point this one out. Nobody's going to be going down there, I would have thought. But um, someone asked me the other day about the temporary danger areas that pop up um, over the channel. And they're obviously doing surveillance work across the channel. But they're all only up to 1,200 feet. So it shouldn't present any problems uh, for anybody that's doing a cross country down there. Operationally, we're on to seven on the main runway. Come out, we'll give you a launch. I don't think there's any jet movements, but they surprised me yesterday as normal. Um, and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll see you out there sometime today.